Hey, it's Michael Tech BB, and we're going to kind of do a combination of a vibe review revisited really quick, and also we're going to do a Tech T paintball bolt installation. So, you know, the, the vibe black cart in the sub $300 price range, in my opinion, is the best $300 and under paintball gun that's on the market. It's better than G3, definitely better than PMR. Um, I like it a lot better than the SLG, I like it a lot better than the SLG Ultralight. Um, just, you know, I definitely like it a lot better than the Zoden Zenith. The Vibe Blackheart, in my opinion, and this is from shooting all those guns, is the best sub $300 paintball gun that's on the market right now. Why is it the best sub $300 paintball gun that's on the market right now? Well, first off, if you take a look at a Vibe Blackheart bolt, it looks a lot like a DM9 bolt. There's a reason for that, okay, because it operates very similar to the same. The low force technology of the gun, you know, you, have, you get the low force bolt that's inside there, and basically all they're doing is they're restricting how fast the bolt cycles back and forth, so the bolt's not slamming into the paintball and cracking the shells and stuff like that. It goes very slow forward, very slow back. Now, it does restrict your rate of fire, so if you're looking for like a super fast, high rate of fire gun, probably go to the Zoden Zenith. If you're just looking for something like for PSP 10 balls per second, or something just for, you know, basic rec ball play, Vibe's a really good gun. But the, the low force technology, you're hardly ever going to break paint. Then on top of that, the gun also comes with laser eyes, okay? It's one of the only guns in the sub three, you know, sub three hundred dollar price range. Actually, comes with laser eyes. So hopefully you can see them in there, and there they are. Okay, there is laser eyes inside the gun. So I mean, laser eyes don't function any better than regular eyes, but it is kind of cool to see, uh, you know, a sub three hundred dollar gun come with that. Trigger's really nice on it. ASA. Here's what you got to do with the ASA. Remove the wedge. Okay. Go to the you know, like macroline.guy.com. Get yourself. Uh, you know, two straight fittings, a piece of macro line, join it up. You got yourself a nice little ASA that already comes in the box. Um, you know, and for $230, it leaves you room to get yourself a nice barrel. Now, with this barrel, I've got the 14 inch All American from Smart Parts. You know, I love the porting on this barrel, don't like the internal finish on it. You know, Custom Products, in my opinion, makes a little bit of a better barrel than the All American. All American is going to be very quiet because of the porting, but the finish on the inside isn't exactly the greatest. Um, I haven't really noticed any problems with consistency or anything like that with it, but yeah, you know, I kind of like when uh, you know the inside of my barrels are like a mirror. And Custom Products generally has a better barrel, probably some of the best barrels that are on the market. But you know, 30 bucks to get the 14-inch classic, you know, like 689, good to go. Uh, the feed neck on it is great, fits every loader that's on the market that I've seen. Everything from Pinocchio, the Rotors, to the Prophecies, to the Halos, to you know the standard Shake and Shoot, you name it, it'll put it on there. Regulator. Regulator that's on the Vibe is the same regulator that's on the Lux. Okay, it's the same regulator. Okay, the, the internals on here are almost exactly the same. The only difference is the air porting for the Lux comes in through the top, where the Vibe comes in through the bottom. But the the regulator that's on the Vibe is basically the same regulator that's on the Lux. Same piston, same pressure relief, same almost everything. It's almost the exact same regulator, same exact design. So you're getting the same regulator on here that you're getting on the expensive gun, which is really really cool. Um, maintenance on the gun. Not a lot to it. Let's go ahead and show you. Let's pop out the bolt. So give it about five turns. Bolt comes out. Or the back plug comes out. Pull out the bolt. There you go. That's it. So three parts of the gun. Okay. Um, probably the biggest complaint that I have with the vibes is the trigger, how it comes out of the box. Okay. The trigger, you know, the trigger kind of leans forward a little bit, and unfortunately, it really clicks the micro switch way too early, and you really don't even get a chance to use the stop screw. What I highly recommend you do: take your trigger pin, tap, you know, take your, uh, uh, take the battery out, pop off the grip frame, take your trigger, uh, pop off the trigger, and then sand down that little top part that actually clicks against the micro switch. Sand that down a little bit, okay? Put it, put your gun back together again. Take the screw that's on here at the bottom, which is your uh, pre-travel, tighten that down a little bit, tighten down the set screw, and you're going to have a nice short trigger pull. Very, very easy. I'll put a tutorial up over the TechPB videos. Or, uh, in the TechPB forms, in the Smart Parts form. But once you do that, if you sand down the trigger a little bit, um, you'll be able to get a nice, short, crisp, easy trigger pull. You don't want to sand it down too much, you're not going to be able to activate the trigger. But these are the best sub $300 paintball guns that are on the market. Okay, now I'm going to check for this. Smart Parts is, Smart Parts is in some serious financial trouble right now. 
Um, so it's not like you're going to send me an endorsement check or anything like that. Okay, I'm, I'm proposing a company that may not be here in two years. So, you know, the, the, you know, it's not like I'm going to need a check from them. I just think from everything that I've used, that these are the best sub $300 paintball guns that are on the market right now. And every time I pick up another one of the guns, the G3, the PMRs, the minis, the... Um, you know, the Zenith, the SLGs, all the other sub $300 electromagnetic guns that are on out there. This gun, hands down, wins against all of them. Feels great. It's got tons and tons of modes, tons of adjustment modes inside of the, uh, the, the board. I mean, you've even got the on-the-fly modes, which is awesome for scenario games. So you start off, it's in semi-auto. Tap the button, it goes in three shot. Tap the button, it goes into full auto. Tap the button, it goes back into semi-auto. So what I use in my SP1, I'm out there doing, you can do the same thing on this one. Guns aren't that heavy. They weigh in at about, I think they weigh in about 2.4, 2.5 pounds. They're not that, that heavy, just about an ounce or two heavier than a DM9. But they feel good in the hands. They're bulletproof construction, and they work great. So that's why I like them. They're some best sub-$300 guns. That's why the gun won so many Tech TV awards last year. And, and you guys see me out there shooting people every single weekend with the SP-1. SP-1 and the Vibe Black, you know, the SP-1 Blackheart and the Vibe Blackheart are the same exact damn gun. The only difference is the SP-1's got some extra Picatinny reels and stuff like that. So go get it. If you're looking for a good sub-$300 paintball gun, go get it. Use the extra money. Get yourself a good quality barrel, a good 14-inch barrel. Um, I used to recommend the 693 barrel, but paint's gotten a lot smaller in the past couple of years, so I'll definitely recommend going with the 689. Um, see, 689, the custom products, 14 inch barrel, get it in dust black, it'll match your gun, works great. All right, so let's talk about the Tech T bolt. Now, I know it's pronounced Tech, but I call it Tech T because when I get 600 emails, I like to tell them it's Tech T. If I tell them it's Tech, they're going to go to T E C H E D paintball.com, and that's not the correct website. The correct website is T E C H T paintball.com. Tech T paintball.com. Makes great bolt upgrades. How does it work? Okay. It's kind of hard to believe when you see them in the box, you know, because you don't get much in the box. The bolt is absolutely tiny. The bolt doesn't weigh anything. Comes with a little plug and a little bolt stop. How do you install the tech bolt? Okay, it's very simple. The first thing that you do is you go to your manual, and if your gun has anti-bolt stick or first shot drop-off prevention, you need to shut that off. Okay, so most guns will give, you know, most spool valve guns will give a default of like five or they'll add five to the dual. You don't need that with the tech bolt. Shut that off, okay? You don't need it. Um, so that's the first thing you do. The second thing you do is I recommend that you set your dual at about 10 and start raising it from there. I found that putting the tech T uh, bolt inside of the Vibe or the SP1, a dual of about 14 seems to work. 13, it's kind of soft. 14 seems to work. 15, it's wasting air. Uh, but you're just going to have to experiment. You're going to have to take your gun, you know, start it at 10, shoot it. If it doesn't seem like it's shooting right, raise it to 11, raise it to 12, raise it to 13, raise it to 14, 15, 16, whatever it is. But it should be, should max out between 14 and 16. Probably at the lowest, you're going to be about 10 milliseconds to well. Make sure you show a first shot drop off setting. Next thing you got to do, if you have a DM, okay, like on the DM kits, if you got a dual regulator gun, like a, like a PM7 or a PM8 or a DM9 or a DM8 or a DM10 or something like that, a dual regulator gun, you have to raise your, um, raise your LPR all the way up. So you just got to turn it all the way up. You gotta, it's just, other than that, the bolt's not going to suck all the way back in. And then from there, you take your high pressure regulator and dial it down a little bit. You are going to be shooting hot. So if you chrono with your stock bolt at about 290 at a dwell of 18, uh, you know, let's say your pressure is about 150 PSI, when you put your tech bolt in there, even at a dwell of 14, you're going to be shooting hot. So I definitely recommend turn down your HPR a little bit, then go in chrono and get it up there. But it's very simple. I'll show you how easy it is to install it. Take a little bit of lube. Put it on the O-rings. Drop the plug down into the gun. Take the bolt. Put a little bit of lube in, just for the purposes of this. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just using some Planet Eclipse gun oil. It's kind of a good multi-purpose silicone gun oil, and you know if the O-rings are in really good shape, you can get away with using this. So I'll put a little bit on there. Put a little in the bolt stop. Then you can take this, set it on top. There we go. And then what you do from here is just tighten it. And like I said, shut off your uh, anti-bolt stick. 
or first shot drop off prevention. Put your dwell at about starting at 10, raise it up to, you know, and as you're shooting, you may want to, you know, you may have to raise it 12, 13, 14, depending on your gun, and then go chrono. That's it. That's all you need to do. It's one of the best bolts that are on the market right now. I've been running it in my SP1. It's been really cutting down on the vibration going through my goggle cam. As you may have seen in a couple of videos, the uh, vibration and the ripples going through the goggle cam was dramatically reduced when I switched from the stock bolt to the Tech T bolt. Um, air efficiency definitely, air efficiency is a little bit better. Gun kicks a lot less. The sound signature is really nice and crisp. Definitely check him out. It's probably one of the best bolt upgrades that are out there on the market right now. He does a great job. So hopefully that answers some questions about the Vibe Blackheart, answers some questions about the Tech T bolt. Um, they make great products. And if you have any questions, Todd's always available. Thanks for tuning in.